Okay, so here is another example of an application of finding the nature of the roots. So this is not the typical question in which you identify the nature of the roots, but you will be using the concept of the nature of the roots to solve this problem. Okay, so it says find the range of values of k for which the equation x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals k has two real roots or has two real and distinct roots and then we need to express the answer in number line presentation or representation okay this is representation okay so how do we solve this so what we know is that there is a quadratic equation and it has two real and distinct roots so the first thing that will come into our mind is that when we change the equation into the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero then b squared minus 4ac should be greater than zero in order for it to have two real and distinct roots now currently the equation is x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals k now never assume that k is equal to zero just for it to fit the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero but what you can do is to transform it by applying some properties of equations and that is by subtracting k on both sides so with that the equation will change into x squared plus 5x plus 3 minus k equal to 0 so somehow it is already in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 now to identify a b and c so we have a is equal to 1 because it's 1 x squared and then b is equal to 5 coming from this coefficient of x now this is the tricky part now remember the c is the value without the x or x squared now k is a number that we will be looking for so that means the c takes the expression 3 minus k okay so this is the whole c so do not limit your thinking to that c is just a single expression okay so finding now the value b squared minus 4ac so we have b squared minus 4ac is equal to 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and times c is 3 minus k now now our goal is to make this greater than zero so again why should this be greater than zero because according to the problem the the quadratic equation x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals k has two real and distinct roots if it says no real then that's less than zero if there is one real root then we say b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero but since we have two real and distinct roots then b squared minus 4ac should be positive or greater than zero okay so going back here we have 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4 then 3 minus k so we expect this to be greater than 0 okay 
so let's have this as 25 minus 12 plus 4k and we are setting this greater than 0 and this is 13 plus 4k is greater than 0 now by solving this inequality so this will be 4k is greater than negative 13 or k is greater than negative 13 over 4 or this is negative 3 and 1 fourth so that means the value k cannot go smaller than negative 3 and 1 fourth so k must be greater than negative 13 over 4 or k must be greater than negative 3 and 1 fourth so in a number line so since this is negative 3 and 1 fourth or negative 3.25 so if we place 0 here so negative 3.25 or 3 and 1 fourth is on the left of 0 so this means if you want numbers bigger than negative 3 and 1 fourth then we have to get the numbers on the right of negative 3 and 1 fourth now should we include it no because it didn't say k greater than or equal it is strictly greater than okay so in a number line representation the answer is this number line okay now if writing of the answer is not limited or restricted to a number line representation then we could express the answer in this manner we say k is greater than negative 13 number 4 or also k is greater than negative 3 and 1 fourth if we change negative 13 number 4 into a mixed number form okay so let's look at the whole problem so this is what we answered we wanted to find the range of the values of k so for which the equation x squared plus 5x plus 3 equals k so this is just an application of the concept of determining the nature of the roots in this particular problem the quadratic equation has two real and distinct roots now sometimes a problem would say one real root or no real root so you just have to make sure that you know how to apply the b squared minus 4ac because sometimes it's greater than zero or less than zero or equal to zero depending on the condition okay so some notes um, make sure that the quadratic equation follows ax squared plus bx plus equal to zero so that means you have to do some manipulation in order for the given equation uh, be transformed into ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero and then another important note is that when we consider a b and c a b and c are not restricted to a single expression like in this case we were able to see that the value of c is actually not just a single term but it's actually a combination of 3 and the minus k okay so make sure you plug in the values properly and by using the idea that b squared minus 4 is greater than 0 we ended up with an inequality which gave us the final answer for the value of k so it's not a single number that is why if you notice we're looking for the range of values of k so it's just it's not just one value but it's it's a, there are a lot of numbers so if we say k is greater than negative 13 over 4 that number can be negative 3 that number can be negative 2 it can even be 0 and all the numbers on the right of negative 3 and 1 4 okay so i hope you understand my explanation again the key is that when you are confused with any uh, parts of this video just you know you can always go back to that uh, portion and then watch it again okay that's it